Hello, and welcome to this lesson in which we're going to talk about the Cloud Practitioner exam. So over here in the appendix of the Practitioner Brief, you are going to see a topic called about the exam. So if you want to go ahead and click on that, you can follow along and you can view the information that I've posted here about the exam. So let's talk a little bit about it. Now, the Cloud Practitioner exam was once in beta, and that means that AWS was testing out this exam before actually making it an official exam. Now, it has seemed recently that it has since been released as a production exam, meaning that anybody can now take it, and it is currently an official AWS certification exam. So currently, AWS is listing the length of 90 minutes, Number of questions, 70, although that is subject to change. So it may be slightly different than 70. It could be 60, 65, 70 or so. So don't be surprised if it's not exactly 70 as the number of questions is subject to change. The format is multiple choice. So all questions will be multiple choice with four or five possible answers. And some of them may be multi-answer where it will ask you to select the best two or three answers of the ones that are provided. The cost is $150 US dollars. So again, that may be different in your particular currency, but it is currently listed at $150 USD. If you want to register for the exam, you can come here to the appendix and about the exam and then click on this link here and it'll take you directly to the site where you can sign up for the cloud practitioner exam. Now, if you have never taken an AWS exam before, it is important to understand that exams must be taken at a designated testing center, which are generally located in or near most major cities around the world. So when you go to this link to register for the exam, you will have to make sure that you select a testing center and a time that is close to you. So you will have to select a specific location and a specific time to take the exam, and then you do have to then travel to that testing center and take it in a proctored environment. So this is not an exam that you take at home or over the internet, you have to go and take it at a specific testing center. And also one of the great things about taking AWS exams is you do get the results immediately. So after you were done taking the exam itself, you then hit submit and it will immediately let you know if you passed or failed the exam. So that's just a quick summary of the exam in terms of its actual format, cost, and length. And with that, we will conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.